Hi viewers, and um, today I'm going to have a look at the GRBL board version 4 with the Nano um, Arduino. And if you look at both these boards, there is you can see uh, there, there is differences. That I've replaced one of the jumpers with an actual wire to show you what I've actually done. Now, the problem with this board is that it got burnt out. A power supply was placed in into the inlet here but the polarity was actually reversed so the p positive went into the negative and the negative went into the positive and it blew the bolt the board now if i flip it over you can see the damage that's happened and that this has bubbled up and somewhere on this board there is a break in the actual flow of power now there is an easy way to solve this if you're lucky and it's worth a try in that if you look this is the board that's absolutely fine let's move that over there and that there's this jumper here that jumps the gap on the this little jump let's get this into focus I can't really focus that that little jumper there that normally you have a jumper there that jumps the gap to allow the power to go to the board. Now, if you set with this problem, uh, the, if you look on the back here, you can see the actual um, positive goes to that jumper. So that, that positive there, that's the this side of the actual connector, and that goes to the jumper there. So if you put a reverse polarity, what will happen is that the board will burn out, but the actual power will go straight to the ground down here and actually won't affect this part of the board, this side. Um, so what you need to do is actually get power to the rest of the board. Now on a working board, if you look at get this into focus put my hand on the bottom so I can get this into focus so on a working board down the bottom strong there. Uh, there we go you can see that here we've got a power in just by the X uh, the X motor, there's a power in there. Now if you jumper that from your power to here, rather than going via this jumper, so take this jumper off and place it into here, you'll have to solder a pin in here like I've done here. You will actually be able to get power to the board and actually power this board up again. And it will actually work fine. Um, dependent on your luck. So rather than going out and buying a new board, it's worth trying this out to see if the board will actually work. It's quite an easy fix to do. Just solder a little pin in here. You see I've soldered a pin in there. Actually quite neatly, which I was quite uh, surprised with. And that allows you to actually power the board again. So first of all, check your polarity before you actually do anything with this board and actually hook it up. Because uh, there's a lot of clones, there's a lot of clones out there um, of these boards. Now, virtually all built the same. Let's get back into focus. There we go. They're virtually all built built the same, but there is little nuances with some of them. And just check, just check the back here. That making making sure that when you place your power in, that just follow these lines. So this one's going off to positive and then your ground comes back down here and you'll see on the back here that this one here there where there's your ground line going along here just make sure with the voltmeter that those are correct or if or if you haven't got voltmeter just a small circuit with a light checking that all those are correct um yeah but that's how to get that working again so if any luck if you blow blow this board up you'll be able to do that that little fix there and all should work. Okay.